Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. I've got a little bit of a treat. This is the Diecast Mark 7. Yes, you heard it, Diecast Mark 7 from King Arts. It is a one in ninth scale. It's around nine, nine and a half inches tall, depending on how you pose him up. And I will show you in this video two things. One will be the weight of this figure, how that compares to the Hot Toys version, and I will have it standing next to the Hot Toys version, and you will see some of the differences between them. The most common thing I get asked about Hot Toys and King Arts figures is how do these two figure manufacturers compare to each other? It's very difficult to make that comparison for two things. One, the prices are different, and also the scales are different. Each company has their own strengths and advantages. That will become clear in this video, and also, I have mentioned them in previous videos. Things like paint app, articulation, creativity, etc. So it's very difficult to make a direct comparison. It's like saying, which do you like? better KFC chicken or a bowl of soup it's very difficult to compare the two yes they are same armors but there will be differences between them and it's completely down to you guys how you decide how you wish to think each is better or better value for money etc do some research watch videos Go on YouTube, go online, and you can make the decision by yourselves. I'm sure you are capable of doing that. Now, this Mark 7 is almost identical to the Midas Mark 21 that was released by King Arts because it has a bunch of features and accessories. So, just very quickly, this is the light up base that you have. It's quite nicely lit up, and you have this closable flap just here and that flap closes completely so you can hide the pole sockets if you don't need it. You get the Mark 7 nameplate, you get two poles, one for standing, one for flight stand, you get the clamp, you get four tools for helping changing parts, putting in the batteries, and here are the accessories which look very familiar. They are almost identical to the ones you get from Hot Toys. So you actually get two additional shoulder pods, if you want to call it that. One with the missiles, one completely flush, and the Mark 7 has a set on him now. They are articulated, so we've seen that before. You get the forearm missiles, the thigh missiles, a set of articulated hands, a set of repulsor hands, a set of relaxed hands, and you get an instructions manual. Please go through the instructions manual. There are a lot of points in there which you need to be aware of. However, this piece is different and new, and I don't believe any other figure manufacturer has made. It's a small trinket item, if you want to call it that. It is similar and designed to look like the pod that Tony Stark suits up from when he gets thrown out of the Stark Tower by Loki in Avengers. However, they do call this the... This film is based on Iron Man 3, and if you watch the beginning of Iron Man 3, the Mark 7 suit is the one that is shown in there at the opening scene when he walks out into the restaurant and the armor opens up. So you can call this from Avengers or Iron Man 3. They are both in the film. However, this particular piece is from Avengers. As I said, I think this is only the first company that's ever made this. These are soft plastic. It has the light up feature at the front that's similar to the arc reactor. I don't think it will show too well on camera, but there is a yellow tinge where the arc reactor is. You can see the front looks very, very similar to the Mark 7 chest plate. You can see the feet at the bottom here, and the on-off switches in this particular compartment just here. Not going to spend too much time on that. What I will spend a little bit more time on is 
how this looks compared to Hot Toys because a number of people have said the Mark 7 is the daddy of Hot Toys plastic figures. The reason for that, you get a bunch of accessories, it's great value for money. So how does this compare to the King Arts one? The King Arts version doesn't have a head sculpt, which the Hot Toys version does have. Some people aren't too fond of the Mark 7 head sculpt, it's got that smirking Robert Downey Jr. look. Some people like it, some collectors don't. King Arts, you don't have the head sculpt, but you do get this particular Mark 7 flying suitcase if you want to name it that. I'm not sure if that's the right name for it. But you will see the differences from the paint app to the slight difference in design. The art character looks slightly different also. It's difficult to say which is more movie accurate. They're just different designs of the same armor. So that's the front and let's quickly show you the back of this figure. These flaps are articulated. Let me lift this up so you can see. Similar to the Hot Toys Mark 7, not identical because this silver section here, the silver sections here don't lift up, whereas in the Hot, to Hot Toys version they do. The secondary flap also lifts up. So if I'm getting to stand properly. Let's do a top from the head to toe. Let's check out the weight of this and how this looks next to the Hot Toys Mark 7. We're going to start off by weighing the plastic 1 in 6 scale 12 inch Hot Toys figure, which comes in at around 360 grams, just under 360 grams. So now if we put on the scales, the die cast, Mark 7 by King Arts, which is a 1 in ninth scale, it comes in at around 300 gram mark. Having the two different Mark 7s stand side by side, you can see some differences. So if we work from the feet upwards, Hot Toys version has this opening flap. It doesn't have this on the King Arts. You have very slight differences in the paint app and I'm trying to maybe find the right angle. This King Arts red is slightly more I think the color may be to describe sort of cherry color. The Hot Toys version is slightly darker red. Then moving up, there are some slight differences in the designs. Some parts, for example, the compartments are designed differently. The King Arts version, the center piece here where the battery component goes, completely cut, covered, so it's much more flush. The version of the Hot Toys, it's an open screw. You've got to also remember, the this one was made quite a few years before the King Arts version. Again, the screw is easily seen in the battery compartments. On the King Arts version here, probably easy to see on this side, there's a battery compartment covering it, so you can't see that. Then looking at the air flaps, there's an extra articulation point on the Hot Toys one which you can see the silver version, silver part of the air flap can open upwards as well. On the King Arts one, it doesn't move. It stays fixed onto the, the larger air flap there. So another difference is the feet because King Arts always have light up feet and so you can see that light up sort of LED housing there and the switch, you can just see that switch there. Hot Toys one, you don't have light up feet on this figure and most Iron Man figures from Hot Toys, you don't have light up feet. As mentioned, the Hot Toys version was released several years before the King Arts version, so the engineering styles are drastically different and you can see that as a perfect example. Look at how straight the arms can be on the King Arts version. It's almost straight down vertical. 
The Hot Toys version, it doesn't have that extendable arm range or the design is slightly different, so it'll stick out slightly at an angle. You won't get that horizontally coming straight down. The difference in the color of the gold you can see, it may not show up completely on the camera. It's slightly more yellowy on the King Arts one. Whereas it's like a darker gold color from Hot Toys. And if you look at the Arc Reactor here, it's almost completely clear or a transparent color. Then moving across, there's a gold element in the King Arts. Hot Toys one, you get a, ch a damaged chest plate as well, which you don't get with a King Arts version. You get the usual ab twist, ab crunch. There's slightly better articulation from the Hot Toys version. The knees can bend slightly more. One extra thing that you need to also see is this rubber section on the Hot Toys version, this red rubber. It's a, I think it's a hard plastic on the King Arts version there. So there's difference in the design. But other than that, for those who aren't looking so seriously at it, you can see that it's a red armor with gold and it looks like a Mark 7. But if you look in a lot more detail, you can see the differences between the two figure manufacturers. As I said right at the beginning, whether it's better, value for money, etc, that's for you guys to decide. In terms of pricing, the King Arts version is around 1,300 Hong Kong dollars. That is buying directly from the store at King Arts in Hong Kong. If you're buying overseas, UK, US, etc, outside Hong Kong, there will be a markup or distributor difference in prices between the distributors, retailers, resellers, etc. So prices will vary depending on which country you're buying from, shipping costs, customs charges, etc, etc. So all I can do is tell you what the costs are in Hong Kong. That is about 50% cheaper than the Mark 7 when it first was released in Hong Kong. So you guys can decide and check out more videos, reviews, research online, etc. If you're trying to choose between the two. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite fun seeing the differences in terms of the engineering and the design of these two different manufacturers on the same figure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.